okay we have come to the part two of animating in photoshop the final step for animating in photoshop is exporting the animation after you're done um for for the animation what we do what i do with my team is that we uh, save two different files one is the original file that has all the coloring and the inking separated so that just in case in the background separated also just in case we have to ever go back to change a color or fix a problem or add a drawing um, keeping these files ready to be edited is very convenient when you're dealing with Photoshop and bitmap which is not as easy to change okay after um, the files are ready and prepare there are two ways to go about uh, exporting the file one you can do it directly from Photoshop so how I'll show you here this is where I will actually use the Photoshop um, animation tool uh, for this one I want to do you can do enter 1.5 0.5 yep, 0.15 seconds and then just make a new frame And for the end frame, I will do 0.5 seconds and the beginning also 0.5 seconds so that um, people have eyes have the beginning and the settling time. Because when you first start the scene, not everybody's going to see that first drawing unless you hold it for a little bit. And so it's the same principle for ending the scene. Okay, now after this scene, um, Terry smiling, he's happy um, we go into rendering video and I already chose where I want to output to and QuickTime and for the setting uh, I do compression H264 which is kind of an MP4 compression and put it on best and I like the frame rate at 30 frames per second just to keep it consistent with all my other ones I'll name this um, Photoshop movie and then it's just waiting for it to render uh, Photoshop render takes uh, render always take a little time the longer the sequence the longer the render is so that's just a matter of fact for all video editing live action or animation 3D is the worst. You have to not just render the original sequence, you also have to render um, occlusion, all the other shaders separately sometimes. Okay, now it's rendered. Go and find the video. And there is our video. The good part about this one is such a small sequence. It doesn't take that much room. Okay, and that's how you output it from Photoshop. Uh, you can also, for Photoshop, you can also add um, gradients to kind of spice up the scene if you choose. Oops, the wrong gradient. just to give us more color variation like that so yeah that's for Photoshop and the next one is After Effects I generally use After Effects not Photoshop for outputting and then we'll show you how I do it exactly if you like the tutorials and would like to see more of it, please support me on Patreon so I can find time to make more.